Hello there. This video will help you to learn how to navigate your CSD docs, which is the Google instance of Google uh, Drive. What we'll start is we'll look at all our menus here on the left hand side to help you understand those. The first thing that you'll have access to is a My Drive. That is where you can store personal files and, and storage. Um, these are all files and folders that are owned by you. To, um, to add something to this, you can do several things. You, one, you can do new, and if you do, you can add a new folder. As you can see, I have several folders to organize your files. You can do a new type of file, and you'll see the several options, including Google Docs, which is word processing, Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet, Google Slides, which is a presentation slide deck, Google Forms, which does um, uh, quizzes and surveys and things like that. And you'll see there's other things, including Jamboard, which is a whiteboard, um, a Google site, which is a website, Google drawings, etc. You can also do a file or a folder upload. So you're able to upload things straight from your computer up into um, whichever location you want. Um, this could be PDF documents and other things where you can use your Google Drive as a storage mechanism um, in addition to using the documents and spreadsheets and stuff and things like that. So that's how you will enable and add things to your drive is the new. There are other shortcuts and things you can use as well. And you'll notice that if you do create folders like I have here, if you open that little arrow, you'll see at a glance, all of these folders will appear. As you can see, I have quite a few. Um, when you start out with um, Google Docs, CSD Docs, you will not have that many, but I can go straight to a folder from here and then I can access the information that I need from there. The next uh, thing that you'll see on the navigation is these shared drives. Shared drives are drives that you share with other people, hence the name. Again, you'll notice I have several shared drives. If you click on it, you'll see a list of all the shared drives that you're involved in, or you can do open up the arrow and you can see the different drives. You'll notice that as those have different folders inside of them, you will get to see access to those folders. Um, and then the folders within those, et cetera, et cetera. If you use the side navigation, or you can just click directly on the folder, the drive itself, and browse through just like you would on your My Drive. Uh, computers is where you're um, where you're logged into and where you will automatically sync. As people share Google Documents with you, whether it's a Google Doc, Google Slides, etc. You will find that shows up in the shared with me as you get permission shared for you. You'll notice that I get things shared with me here um, often. You can see your most recent items if you click here. Any starred items are things that you want to highlight and be able to have quick access to. Um, and you'll notice if I right click, I can add things to a starred item. So if I do that, it will show up in my starred items list. At, as you saw in my example, I have several folders, so I would want to consolidate those. And then lastly, we have the trash. And this is where um, items you throw away, you're like, oh, I didn't want to throw that away. This is where you'd find those. This is where you get information on how much storage you're using. Um, and the last thing is a, is a more advanced feature, but it's kind of a cool feature. It's called priority. Um, basically, this is where you're able to get shortcuts to things that you want to find. You can create a workspace. If you hit create, you can say uh, meeting notes. And then you can add files to this workspace. And it essentially gives you a quick long page and shortcuts for files that go together. So you'll notice that I've created a workspace for any team meeting agendas I regularly do, any of my PD courses. Um, that sort of thing. And you'll notice that it will actually have suggestions for you of shortcuts you may want to have. But anyway, that's a quick navigation of CSD Docs. Hope this is helpful.